Now it's time for Rise and Shine Arkansas, TJ's home state. He's been back into those stomping grounds at the University of Arkansas with a full stadium takeover. Take it away, TJ. Oh, wow. Hey, good wow. morning, Stray. And I heard Robin allude to earlier just how proud uh, she can tell that I am. I am a kid who was born and raised in the state of Arkansas, and I'm a proud University of Arkansas graduate. And they gave me the keys to the place this morning, the keys to Reynolds Razorback Stadium, a 75,000-seat stadium that, yes, this morning is somewhat empty, but usually when you see it on national TV, it's full of 75,000 fans. But this morning, I want you to know, and I am very proud of this rise and shine to let you see there's more to my home state. Welcome to my home state of Arkansas. From the capital of Little Rock to the Razorbacks in Fayetteville. Home to Hot Springs National Park, the country's oldest national park, predating Yellowstone by some 40 years. With over 600,000 acres of lakes and 9,700 miles of streams and rivers, the natural state has it all. Hey, Mr. Johnny, how are you today? In El Dorado, you'll find Betty's Old Fashioned. I've been here uh, 58 years. I worked here 10 years, and then I bought the place. It's been around since 1936 when it opened under a different name. Now, Betty's Old Fashioned is the oldest of Arkansas's beloved dairy bars. Okay, we'll have you guys ready at 12. Thank you. When the pandemic hit, Betty's was kind of already set up for success. We still did our everyday thing. The team was busier than ever, keeping the windows open and the grills warm. We were so busy, we didn't have time to think about it. <laughs> we just rolled with it. Fayetteville is the epicenter of Razorback Nation and the place I called home as a student at the University of Arkansas. I met up with two current students, Jeremy and Mary, who gave me the updated list of hotspots. Where are we going? Puritan Coffee. Now, why Puritan Coffee? I don't, I don't know this one. It's one of the best study spots. Study spots? Yes, definitely. Close to campus also, so yes. you don't have to drive Best study spots. Minutes. Best for coffee as well. I, I didn't know any good study spots. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Just down the road from campus is Puritan Coffee and Beer, founded by Kevin Frey. You've been here nine years. What, what have you seen change in kids, um, I guess, their tastes when it comes to coffee? Well, uh, you know, I think, so for us, we're a specialty coffee shop, so we take things a little more seriously when it comes to coffee. And we actually have seen students start to understand that there is nicer coffee and that it's, it's worth paying for. Like many businesses, the pandemic brought uncertainty for Puritan. We survived because the community here helped us so much. We would not be here without the city of Fayetteville. Just across town, you'll find Coleman Warren, Arkansas senior, Rhodes scholar, and food truck owner. But his ice creamery has a purpose. We're trying to fight child hunger, and we're trying to do it by selling ice cream. Most of the profits made by Coleman's food truck, Simple and Sweet Creamery, are donated to organizations dedicated to fighting childhood hunger in the area. But getting this business off the ground was not easy. The money we make goes to Northwest Arkansas Food Bank. I see Arkansas as a place where people should be able to dream. And I want to make Arkansas a place where everyone is supported and has the resources that they need to succeed. And here's my man, Coleman. Now, I can't say it enough. I just want to keep saying Rhodes Scholar. But here he is, <laughs> Coleman. The work you I know you didn't do this for attention, but now the attention that you are getting, it's got to feel pretty good that your mission um, is now going to be reaching even more people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me have the ice cream, by the way. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, there's our honey lavender ice cream made with some Arkansas honey. Okay. Yeah, I'm just excited to donate more meals and continue to fight child hunger in Northwest Arkansas. Speaking of donating, well, we're going to help you out with stuff. Just step out here with me for a second here, my man. What kind of ice cream do you say I have here? It's honey lavender. Honey lavender. All right. We're going to come to the end. What I want you to do is take this spot here, Coleman. Okay. I, want, I want you to look up at this big jumbotron <laughs> because what you're seeing up there, our good friends at Aldi, what you are seeing is them donate 20,000 pounds no. to the Food Bank of Northwest Arkansas oh, that you have been that's supporting. A, that's that amazing. is what you're seeing up there, right? Oh my God, thank you so that much. <laughs> for you and on your behalf. Thank you, all right? thank you so much. Oh and, my God. And you all see his face. That is genuine joy for what for the work that you thank do. You. Thank now, you. Now, what, what kind of ice cream again was this? Honey lavender. <laughs> Honey lavender. Well, we don't want any freebies. We want to pay you for the ice cream. So open that up. 
and I'm just going to pay you for the ice cream that you're giving me here. No way. Are so, you kidding me? What that is, show everybody what it is. That's a $5,000 donation <laughs> to your creamery to continue your work. Thank you so much. Oh. I'm, I don't even know where to begin. That's like, You've been talking plenty the last couple days. Yeah. Now you're lost for words. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Coleman, it has been an absolute pleasure. You're representing this state, my home state, your home state as well, and this university so well. It is so, it's such my honor to be able to, to share you with the country. So well, thank you thank so much, you. my man. Thank you so much, TJ. All it right. means the world. All right. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.